from the swimmers in the women's 4x200 meter freestyle relay. In lane 8, representing New Zealand, Fairweather, Dean, Osborne, and Heath. We see Erica Fairweather again. She'll lead off this New Zealand team. Dean's Osborne and Ruby Heath in lane making one, up the four swimmers. Yes, Igarashi Namba, a medalist earlier this evening, swimming the second leg, Kabori and Shirai. Lane one. In lane seven, representing Brazil, Baluccini, Dominic Diamante, Roncato, and Rodriguez. The Brazilians in lane seven. Baluccini will lead them off. Rodriguez swimming the fourth leg. Canadians look strong here, Smith. The veteran Savard swimming the second leg. Harvey and Ruck with the anchor. <laughs> In lane six, representing People's Republic of China. Liu, Wu, Chen, and Zhen. China and six. They are the Olympic champions, but this is a new look Chinese team. In lane three, representing Netherlands, Bermuda, Steenberg. And, and the Netherlands always tough in relays. In fact, they hold the world record. It was set eight years ago. Vermeule and Steenberg and Hockenborg and the John. Representing Australia, Wilson, O'Callaghan, Neil and Pallister. The crowd roar for the Australians. Wilson and Neil, O'Callaghan backing up from a silver. Pallister backing up from her gold. The United States of America, Walsh, Flickard, Kimmel and Smith. And the United States swinging the changes from the heat swim. Leah Smith will still anchor as she did this morning. Walsh to lead off, Flickinger and Gemmel. Four by 200 metres. Starters in the last of the finals this evening, the women's 4x200 metres freestyle relay with the United States and Australia in four and five. The Netherlands, the world record holders in three. The United States, interesting, leading off Alex Walsh. Yes, she's on screen. She'll line up next to Wilson of Australia. The two powerhouse nations going head to head once again. Wilson, Walsh, the United States. Away, quickly off the blocks there, Igarashi of Japan in lane one, Smith leading off Canada in two, the Moulin of the Netherlands in three, Walsh of the United States, Wilson, Australia in the yellow lanes, Liu of China, Bolacini of Brazil, and Fairweather, the very busy Erica Fairweather of New Zealand in lane number eight. So 200 metres each for these four swimmers from each team. And uh, this race is going to be fascinating as it unfolds. Canada with the early lead. Well, the Australians on paper, they're the favourites coming into this meet, in this relay, but they've been the favourites at the Long Course Worlds in Budapest and at the Olympic Games last year. And they've failed to claim the gold medal in this 4x200 free relay. So, Maddie Wilson leading them off. They're leading off with one of their stronger and more experienced swimmers. She's sitting in second place right now by Re from Rebecca Smith of Canada up there in lane two. The Canadian team, they might be slightly stronger than the United States team on paper because they've got Taylor Ruck on the anchor leg. So Canada are close. I wouldn't discount them, but that Australian team, Wilson, she'll pass off to O'Callaghan, swimming the second leg. Already a silver medalist in the backstroke event. Leah Neal and Pallister swimming the shortest of her races this week. Will swim the fourth leg. That's Lani Pallister back in the water again. So back to the action here. Rebecca Smith with a great lead off. She 
She's got a beautiful long stroke. She's a really tall swimmer, well over six foot. And you can see that the length of her arms. She's got the smoothest stroke out of anybody in the pool. They're well ahead of that world record line. That's the relay world record from the Netherlands back in 2014. It's eight years old. 152-1 from Canada. It's a flying split from Rebecca Smith. And uh, that's a lead off of 153-1 for Maddie Wilson, which is right on that average world record split pace if the Australian team are having one eye on that mark. Savard swimming this second leg now for Canada. O'Callaghan in the water for Australia, holding down second and also under world record pace at the moment. The United States with Flickinger. And they are one, two, three at the moment. Fourth would be China, New Zealand holding down fifth, then the Netherlands and Japan, and then Brazil. So this is the second leg, and those swimmers behind the blocks waiting for their chances. They're all rugged up. They're jumping up and down on the spot in these cold conditions. But they'll get their chance shortly. Canada still under world record pace through the 300. Yeah, this next 100 metres is going to be important. To see what Catherine Savard, she's more of a butterfly specialist. She's filling in for this relay and she's got to hold off this flying Molly O'Callaghan. We know how strong she is at the back half of her races, but she's quite inexperienced when it comes to short course freestyle. So O'Callaghan making a move now. She's breathing to her left. You can see her when she swings towards the right of screen, pulling away from the United States through that last that 50 metres there. And that lead's been cut down to just 0.5 of a second. Canada leading. Really good swim this by O'Callaghan. Closing the gap in lane five. The United States with Flickinger. And in the middle of that trio, you've got the Netherlands as well with Steenbergen. So they'll come down to the halfway shortly. No longer under world record pace. And the Australians take over the lead. The Australians leading at the halfway mark, thanks to Molly O'Callaghan. In goes Leah Neal. Canada have Harvey in the water. In third place, the United States with Gemmel. And then it's Hulkenberg of the Netherlands. Oh, beautiful last 50 there from O'Callaghan. She took over the Canadian team and extended that lead to give Leah Neal a bit of clean water in there. So Neal for the Australian team. She's a body length in front, but moving nicely is Aaron Gemmel from the United States. They both go past the Canadian team. That's Harvey in the water for Canada, more known as an individual medley swimmer. She'll hang tough, but there's some real class in the water with Emma Gemmel. Aaron Gemmel chasing down Leah Neal. And the last leg for the United States will be swum by Leah Smith and Lani Pallister for Australia. So they were engaged in a battle earlier this evening and it looks like it might come down to the final leg of the relay as well. The gap is closing right up. Australia in front from the United States and then Canada, fourth for the Netherlands at the moment. Oh, this next 75 is going to be important. Neil's got to try and break away and give a lead to Pallister. Pallister, more known for her longer distance, so she's going to anchor this team. And it's been a really strong performance from Gemmel, the 17-year-old American, hanging tough on that lane road next to Neil. She's not letting her get away, just as Canada fall back ever so slightly. And they are back under world record pace again. So if Neil and Pallister can split 152s, they will break the world mark. And Neil is trying to break away from the American swimmer now. Neil has responded, she's just hanging on to that lead. Any lead going to the last leg is a good one. Australia, under world record pace, so too the United States. An excellent swim is by Gemmel. They've cleared out. Canada losing a bit of ground now, back in third place. We're into the last leg now. 600 gone, in goes Lani Pallister. Two gold medals already, looking for a third in the relay. That was a good changeover. Leah Smith, the United States, and Taylor Ruck of Canada. Yeah, great last finish there for Leah Neal. Gives Pallister a handy buffer that leads over one second. And look at that world record line. It's well past uh, Pallister's feet. So the Australian women having another strong performance. Taylor Ruck's moving through at the top of screen, but it's going to be too far for Ruck to try and chase down Pallister. Pallister with clean water in front of her. As they turn now and bring it back down, to the far end of the pool here. They've travelled 6.75. Well, be getting 
to within 100 metres at the finish shortly, under world record pace, Pallister of Australia, and she continues to lead, the United States in second, Canada in third, and they're inside the last 100 now, and Pallister's opened up the lead. Yeah, she certainly has. Ruck moving past the United States in that battle for silver. But all eyes on the Australian team. And Pallister racing for a third goal of the meet. He's well in front of that world record line. Two seconds in front of that world mark. The Australians are on track to smash it. And they don't have some of their strongest swimmers here racing in Melbourne. 1.87 seconds. Pallister's got clean water in front of her. And she's got just over 25 to swim. Lani Pallister, what a world championship she's having. She turns to the roar of the crowd. She's bringing it home now. She's well under world record pace. Canada in the silver medal position over the United States. And it's a goal to Australia and the world record the boot. Canada take the silver, the United States the bronze. Lani Pallister makes it three from three. World record for Australia. That back up the performance from the 4x100 free relay last night with a squad of four new swimmers. And they smash that world mark here in the long relay. Pallister claims her third gold. Wilson, O'Callaghan and Neil all doing their part for this team. And the Australians, aren't they having a magnificent meet here in Melbourne? Another relay, another world record. All four of them have gone here. And the Australians make it three golds on night two. Yeah, O'Callaghan, that was a key split there, finishing off that second leg. That's when the lead, ch the lead changed. Canada just relinquished that lead to the Australian team. Swimming in that third spot, the experienced Leah Neal. She gets her chance to deliver in finals, does Leah Neal. And she swam a really clutch 152 8 second split to give a handy lead to Pallister. She finished off. Boy, she's having a good meet here in Melbourne. 152 2 for Pallister. And she now has medals over the 200, the 400, and the 800 freestyle distance. Australian women's team, strong across all strokes, all distances. It's never been harder to break onto the Australian team than it is in 2022. Five gold medals now. They top the medal tally at the end of night two. Well, Lani Pallast has waited for a meet like this when Everything was in place for exceptional performances. And she's done it. Australia, in a world record time, 7.30.87, taking gold in the 4x2 freestyle from Canada and the USA. I tell you what, it's a bit chilly out here. Just bring those jackets in. Come on, guys. There you go. Get yourselves warmed up. Should be. You've just got another world record, ladies and gentlemen. Just be honest, they deserve some jackets. Maddie, I'm going to start with you. There's obviously a lot of emotion going on over here. You know, what's going on up there? It's obviously very overwhelming, but two world records in two days. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm just, yeah, really happy. And it hasn't been the easiest prep, so I'm just excited that we um, managed to do something unbelievable and something pretty unexpected. Yeah, it was unbelievable. I know everyone here and everyone watching at home is proud of you. Molly, again, two for two. You had an amazing crowd cheering you guys on. Two seconds off the world record. We knew it was achievable, but did you know you could do that? Um, I think we can always know that we're going to do it. Um, we have such an amazing team, and I think we all did so well, even after backing up after multiple, multiple events. Um, yeah, I'm just excited and I'm very happy. And it was an amazing team as well. We had some, some women swimming in the heats this morning that you gave you guys a chance to rest and pull out some amazing performances. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we can't 
do this unless we have a Heats team. And I was fortunate enough to be a part of that. So, yeah, amazing. And one last question, Lani. All these people came out to see you, cheer you on. Anything you want to say to her? Thank you guys for coming. I hope the rest of the week is as fun as it has been the first couple of days. But massive thank you to Laura, Britt and Meg who spun the heats this morning. As Leah said, we wouldn't be here without them and it's just super exciting to have another gold medal for Australia. Well, you've done it again. And I tell you what, here's another check for 25,000 US dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Team Australia. Another check is being written. $25,000 US. They might be regretting this with the records falling the way they are in the relays. Four relays and four world records and uh, plenty to wave that flag about. And Dawn Fraser enjoying it all. She's rugged up. She is a tough lady. Pretty cold, cold in these youngsters will be excited because it'll be an Australian gold medal presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, the medal ceremony for the women's 4x200 metre freestyle relay. The medals will be presented by World Aquatics Bureau member, Mr. Josef Babadich. World Aquatics Bureau member, Mr. Gillis Sesunale. And Masters Swimming Australia, Ms. Sarah Pisterman. Winners of the bronze medal, United States of America. Walsh, Flickinger, Gemmel, Smith. Well, Winners of the silver medal, Canada. Smith, Savard, Harvey, Rock. Winners of the gold medal, and world champions with a new world record, Australia! Wilson O'Callaghan, Neil Pallister. What a performance by the Australians. Challenged by the United States for the first half of the race. Molly O'Callaghan got a little break for the Australians. And then they set it up for Lani Pallister to swim a strong anchor leg. She's the first to receive her gold medal and they're able to bring it home. In the meantime, Canada got themselves over the top of the USA to claim the silver medal. Yeah, strong all-round performance there from these four women on screen. Wilson and O'Callaghan are part of that world record breaking team last night in the 4x100 freestyle relay so what a, what a big two nights of relay swimming it's been for those two. We saw how emotional Maddie Wilson was in that interview. All the rewards of a tough 2022 starting to pay off here in Melbourne. And Pallister, three golds, two individual, one relay. She's got one to come, potentially to come in the 1500 freestyle. What a star she is. Ladies become. and gentlemen, the national anthem of Australia. been quite a night for the Australian team. Lani Pallister winning the 800 metres freestyle. Kaylee McEwen 
in the 100 backstroke. And now this quartet taking out the 4x200 metres freestyle relay in a world record time. Four out of four world records have gone down in these relay events here in Melbourne. What's on the schedule tomorrow? For the relays, there's relays every day of the week here at these World Championships. It's the men's and women's 4x50 metre freestyle relay. The Australian women, yeah, they'll have a strong team. Emma McKeon, Meg Harris, Wilson, O'Callaghan. Peter Bishop there, loving the Australian gold medal here, standing next to Dawn Fraser. Bishop's the coach of Matty Wilson. Kyle Chalmers, Matt Temple as well, strong team, forming in Adelaide. Way to finish the program on night two for the Australians. And the supporters have stayed around to enjoy the celebrations. I think it's probably time, Bobby, to uh, relive some of the highlights tonight because there have been plenty.